Black and White 2 is up there with Ultra Sun and Moon and Platinum as the hardest games made by Game Freak the Nuzlocke. So what am I doing today? I'm doing my first hardcore monotype Nuzlocke in one of the hardest games. After debating with myself with the typings that no one else had put on YouTube yet, I decided to go with Psychic. Well, fuck. To be fair, I had the idea before he came up with the video, so you can't blame a guy for trying. You can blame me for being late. If you want to see his video, there's an annotation somewhere up there so you can see his attempt at psychics only. Here's the Nuzlocke rules I'm working with today. Fainted means dead. Held items are allowed, but none other than that during battle. I'm only allowed to use psychic types, because of course. I can catch more of the same species in a different route. The reason I added the last one because psychics are well distributed in the region. So you can actually catch more of the same species but in a different area. Again, this is my first hardcore Nuzlocke and it's one of the hardest games ever made in Pokemon. So if I make rookie mistakes, allow me to learn. That's what this video is about to me. I changed one of the starters to Lunatone, which is one of the Pokemon you can catch later on in the region. I wanted to give myself a starter right away since the first Pokemon we can actually get are in the third gym. Lunatone is balanced enough not to be overpowered right away, except for the very beginning, but also not to be weak like Gotita for example. Also his typing covered the gyms really well and I wanted to start a little bit easy, shut up. Got Oshawott, we got Lunatone, this was the usual tap pick of course, and then we got Snivy and we're going to pick Lunatone. This is Psychic of course, because that's what we need. Otherwise, this run would make no sense. Sharon is a hard first gym because he uses workup. But because of Lunatone, it was a guaranteed 2 hit KO on all of his Pokemon. Okay, Sharon. Please don't kill me. You've already killed me tons of times in my own Nuzlocke, which weren't even hardcore Nuzlocke. He starts off with Patrick. In my best guess, he always uses workup the first time because that's what he. That's what his whole team is about. Maybe he uses bite. Uh, because he wants to uh, get the super effective hit in. No, he always uses a workup. So that means we got no damage. Oh, his special attack rose too, but he only has physical. Attacks, right? He has bite, tackle, and he also has detect. There you go, that's two free lives. <laughs> two, two free. Free, of course. Uh, 35 special attack. We are allowed to level up during the battle of the elite, uh, uh, of the trainer itself, of course, because otherwise this won't be fun at all. He uses workup the first time. Okay. Yeah, I, I've done a couple nuts locks on this, so it should go fine. Yeah, it should go fine with the knowledge I have for at least Sharon, because I've, I've done him so many times by now. That just sounds completely wrong. That's Sharon down. That's the first gym, and it's been like 40 minutes. Roxy also wasn't half bad, because poison types barely do anything, if anything at all, to psychics. I was one level over the level cap because I forgot the gym trainers were mandatory in this part. Get ready, I'm gonna knock some sense out here. Well, thank you Roxy for letting me know. Now I'm going back to, to you, she has a level 18. We are one level above her level, because I forgot about the gym trainers, and they have like for Pokemon, with, which give 200 XP. Now this is an easy one too, because it's just, I think it's just, should be just one or two confusions at both of these Pokemon, and they should just die, because that's coughing down of course. And then the other one can't do anything except protect. It's not over yet. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, confusion is a thing too, with confusion. Oh yeah, pursuit. That does absolutely jack. You really gotta pay attention to these moves, man. You do enough damage. And that's the second gym down. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the first two to be uh, any uh, type of uh, problem. After this is where the actual challenge starts. Burke has bug types which is super effective to Psychic. But I have an ace up my sleeve. In the sewers there's a little area where you can catch an Eevee, which evolves into Espeon by friendship. In the Relic Castle path, I forgot what the area is called, we can catch ourselves a Wubat, which, like Eevee, evolves by friendship. So in my own time I grinded for about half an hour to get the friendship to the max. The heart-shaped mark left on a body after a Wubat has been attached to it, it is said to bring good fortune. Oh, so basically sniffing your ass then it leaves a heart on you, okay, works for me. What does this all mean, you ask me? It means that we got a flying and psychic type for Burke, which can kill everything easily but the Dwemel. We had an amazing team consisting out of Espeon, Subat and Lunatone, and I wasn't being stopped by a piece of shit Levani. I know you have bug type Pokemon, okay? I know you got bug type Pokemon, but please be a little gentle, his uh, Dwebble also knows feign attack. 
This dwebble also knows faint attack. I repeat, this dwebble knows faint attack, which is a dark type move. I could have shot one at Chaotus because it's four times effective. You're out. Now, for the dwebble, Lunatone has to take a hit, unfortunately. It also has rock polish, so it can be faster than anything. It's gonna use Smackdown first, right? <laughs> really? Rock polish! Okay, now it's gonna use Feign Attack. That does 20, so crit crit will, do, will deal 30. Lights, please! And your light is about to turn off. Smackdown does nothing. Oh, it, it did a little bit. Now the Webble is down. And he learns Rock Slide, because why not? Of course, after uh, the, the thing that you had to kill with Rock Slide, you get Rock Slide. And now, the only real issue I got is Livani. Because Livani is... Its special attack is garbage. Compared to his attack. And Struggle Buck, the only buck moves it knows, it's like 30 base damage or something. So the only thing we have to do, hopefully we don't get credit or anything, we go into lock, and I think that a one hit KO should be possible with Air Cutter, because it's four times. And that's the Razor Leaf. Look at how much damage this does. That's a crit too. That's a crit, you gotta realize it. This is why I use an Orange Berry. Not that it really matters, but... Am I faster? I'm faster. Will this kill? Thank you! Thank you, it's a crit too. I don't even I don't even think the crit mattered because it's four times effective. Burk down. Lights out. I forgot about Chorus's battle after Cassilia City, but it turned out to be fine after a little bit of struggle with the clink. Wait, he He doesn't utilize his team here yet. Does Psybeam How much does that do? Is it a two at KO? Please tell me it's a two at KO. Love you, Espion. Does Gear Grind go up to five times? Is the real question I got here. I, I'm gonna check because I don't want to lose Espion. And I'm faster, which means that the next one I can KO. But I'm not gonna take the risk because I might get a low roll. Will this KO from here is the point. Is the, the real kicker. I might just go into another one. I, I gotta risk it. There's nothing else I can do. Love you, Zalia. It's a crit. So we never know if it would have uh, killed. Splendid. You are quite the trend. You can fuck right off, you know? Next time I see you uh, getting focus blasts all over your ass. In the desert, we started to find dark types like Sendo and Scraggy, which we really have to watch out for. We also managed to catch a Sig Leaf in the desert resort. Afterwards, we had the west from Nimbasa City to get a Gotit. Our team was looking mighty fine. Then, as it turns out, we also have a dancer over there that throws out a Scraggy with payback. Do you see where I am going with this? Okay, I'm taking this one on the... Uh oh. <laughs> You're lucky I can get one back in Mestralton Cave. So I'm not that mad at you. Alisa has been nerfed in this game. Her Imorga has a different moveset, and the other one has been switched out for a Fluffy. Here's the fun part. She has pursued in some of her Pokémon, which means that switching out not only deals damage, it deals super effective damage. Here's what happened. I hate you, Alisa. Thank you, Josh. I'm curious on what the first Fault Switch will do, though. How much damage? That Fluffy I'm scared of the least. She's gonna f either pursue the Fault Switch. How much does that do? Doesn't do anything. I don't want to be greedy. Because now we got plus two on both sides. Will this one hit KO? Ah, fuck's sake. But, 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 but. This will take her in potion range. So I can heal somewhat. With my leftovers. Then we use another rock slide. And don't, don't miss, of course. And maybe use a second potion? Well, oh, okay. I'm not even allowed to do anything anymore. I think we just go for confusion, right? Because 69 base attack on a 50 power confusion will do much more than a rock slide, which has... This is 75, then it probably will do around the same damage because they both stab. 
I'm just gonna risk it. That doesn't do anything at all. No, wait, we got we gotta switch out that way because she's gonna use pursuit. Yeah, see? If I didn't switch out we would be fucked. Okay. Oh my Hakkonos locking, man. Don't even get me started. This should what this should be a KO, otherwise it's fucked. You just fucked over my team woman. So there's more damage when you switch. Well, you could have told me that before. Well, one thing is for certain, I'm surprised that we managed to get this far. I'm really surprised that we were able to get this far, honestly. We lost Lunatone, but it was for higher cause. Rest in peace, buddy. You will not be forgotten. Clay has to be the most annoying challenge thus far, since he has a crocodile which I can't do anything against. And the rest of his team is physical too. Guess what? I only have special Pokemon. I tested about 30 attempts before I started streaming, because I wanted to be sure if it was possible. It didn't seem like it. I know this isn't how a Nuzlocke works, but I wanted to test the theory. In those 30 attempts, at least 10 of them made me wipe, another 15 made me lose multiple Pokemon, about 2 made me lose one Pokemon, and only one made me lose no one, due to the AI being stupid. Guess what scenario I had during the stream? It's time for Clay. Now the thing with Clay is his AI, you're completely dependable on his AI. Because his AI is really weird. The first thing you gotta do, because he sends out Krokorok, is you gotta fix that Reflect or Light Screen or whichever it was, I completely forgot, but it's the left. You always gotta use Reflect, because he either uses Crunch and then you get about 50% damage, but you're completely dependable on what the AI does, because sometimes you use this, and of course sometimes you avoid the attack, which is actually really nice, because then we are able to get this done. But here's the thing. He uses Stormed now, so I can't use anything else. The only thing I got on this is Return, because there's no other move that it learns at this point in time that I can actually use, because most of his moves are Psychic. can do nothing against it. But Return doesn't do enough to kill it. So here's where the problem comes in. We got a Sigilip standing right here against this Karkarok, and I have no idea what to do against this one. So the thing we can do here is just try to mow it down with Dig, because, you know, this one has Dig. Crunch doesn't do half of the damage it should do. It's still too much, though. Now it's gonna try bulldoze me. The thing is, you're you're not only completely dependable on his AI, you're also... He's also completely random. Sometimes he uses uh, bulldoze, so a ground-type move against Sigleaf. Uh, it, it's immune to... Of course, it's immune to ground because it's flying-type. But that's that's the thing here. What's the... What's... <laughs> How are we gonna do anything ag against this thing? I'm surprised that uh, it hasn't really fucked me over just yet. Uh, then, I don't know. The, on the only stab move we got, or the, the, only, the only move we got that's super effective against Clay, is extra drill, is Dig. And we're pretty much fucked now. Because he's gonna use Crush Claw, it's fine. It's not gonna be doing anything to us, we got the leftover, so we get like 5 health back. Do we wanna set up right now? Yeah, we might as well just set up right now to take the least amount of damage. This this is... Uh, I, I did, like I said, I did this bit like 20, 30 times, and they all went completely different. Excadrill's attack is too high for us. We can't live anything with this. Because there's one thing we can do, and that's just try to use Air Cutter to wear it down a little bit. But we need at least 60% damage. It uses Bulldoze on this. This is exactly what I had. It used Bulldoze because I think that's the highest damage uh, the, the highest damage output it, it can think of, yet at least AI. After this, it starts using Rock Slide, of course. But the thing is, if we don't live... If one of my Pokémon dies here, if even one of my Pokémon dies here, then it's completely over. But the thing is, we only got Sophie laying in the back, which can't do anything. And I guess that one simple shot in, in into Aspion... Because here goes nothing. This will kill, right? Oh, it doesn't. The dick won't do anything either. Doesn't do an, it, it nearly doesn't do enough. Unless we get a crit. Or not. Wait. How in the blood so Protestant hell did I... Did I really just beat Clay without losing a single... This was completely lucky. I did this like 20 to, to 30 fucking times before this. And... It was either one Pokemon down, 
two Pokemon down, I'm completely dead. And one time I got lucky and then it was like zero Pokemon down, but this is just completely... This is just weird. This is just bullshit. Yep, I got the stupid AI scenario. I for sure thought I was dead too. Anyway, in a Relic Castle we catch a ball toy and we head to Minstralton City. Once we get there and head to the route to get our next encounter, I come across a trainer with a Chinchino. If one of them has a Scraft, I swear to God I'm gonna scream. <gasps> You absolute motherfucker! Oh, that's... This might just actually kill my run, holy fuck! Yes, it's physical? It's also got an 85% accuracy. Fuck this, man. Fuck this. It's physical, so that means that the reflect is going up. It's got 85% accuracy. Why is it hitting? Didn't even expect to come this far, <laughs> honestly, so I shouldn't be complaining too much. Next, we catch an L gem in the Celestial Tower and we move towards Skylar's gym. Hey, he's gonna try to outstall me. Does this mean I'm gonna have to use Toxic on you then? <gasps> you mother. Okay. It's, it's literally all over if we lose. But that's uh, what it's been like for the first chip, so it's the exact same thing. She starts off with a Sulbat of level 37, which doesn't really know anything except for assurance to counter us. Because eventually, uh, the amount of uh, leftover stuff I get will do will deal more damage. Or will get, will get me higher up in the set of the amount of damage they do. Hopefully. Because I get like... I get 7 HP back. How much does Assurance do? I don't know if this will work. I don't think this will work. I think I just set up for absolutely nothing. I, I, I was too... being too fucking stupid with this fucking... fucking... piece of fuck. How much does the Psychic do? That kills it. Swana? Kills it, okay. Skarmory? To it, KO, maybe? You're kidding me, right? How am I still alive? I was planning on dying here. How am I still oh, Next one is level... Four. Next level cap is level 48. Okay, I'm just going to continue. They all died for nothing. I will admit, at this point, I was honestly true with the run. We still only had three Pokemon, and the other half was considered dead already. The stupid mistake I made with Claydol with setting up, I don't know why I did it. Aspion was sitting in the back for the entire time, saying like, Hey, homie, let me do this, I got you. The region now really opens up, because we can go to Andela Town, Lekunosa Town and Opelucid City. During our trip, we catch Spoink, another Gotita, another Lunatone and a Starmie. Things were finally starting to look better for me. Drayden is now demoted to the 7th Gym Leader, but that doesn't mean he got any weaker. Major Drayden, show me what you got for me this time. I hope he doesn't crit or anything. That would be really, really bad. You've been eroded up, Nimue. You've been eroded up really bad. Oh, you're not faster. That that can be a little problem. If you... that can be a, that's gonna be a big problem. But he heals now. That's okay. Maybe we can get a crit or a high roll. I don't think so. Oh. Thanks, Nimue. You saved my ass here. But now the thing is, what can live against Flygon? Are we gonna have to sack one off? It's a better thing. He knows Dragon Tail, he knows Crunch, he knows Earth Power. I roided up Sophie for this. How is that looking? Those defenses, man. Those defenses. I hope you can live a hit. Or maybe two. I don't think we can run around a crit, though. That was a crit. Uh, see what I mean? I think I'm gonna have to sack someone off. I think it's gotta be Lunatone. Flying on DB. I hope I can find it. Base 100. Anything that can top that? Maybe Starmie? I don't know. It's always worth a shot, Starmie. Base 115. Okay, we now have sacked off an unimportant Pokemon. We might be able to live a hit with this one. 
It's important to master when you're supposed to sack one off. That's really important. Do I can I catch another star you somewhere? Hold on. Yumi Lao City, that's okay with me. I'm sorry, Kray! <laughs> but if this is the case. He doesn't even use Dragon Dance. I'm sorry, Gray. I'm really, really sorry. But we can catch another one of you. Later down the line. This should be the kill. Zalia, my oldest friend. That's Raiden down. But then we have a Zinzul in, which was the secret boss for this run, so it seems. I completely forgot he had a Weavel, a fast boy with a big attack stat. Here's what happened. Oh, just just the one of them. Cryogonal. You do realize that my level cap is 51, right? This might actually be a little issue. This might actually be a big issue. I don't have anything to counter a Weavel. I literally have nothing to counter a Weavel. Nope. It's uh, over! Nope. It's, it's, literally, it, it's, it's literally over. I'm fucked. And I'm not gonna try again, believe me. It's faster than everything. There's nothing I can do here. It's over. Blacked out. That's it. That's the game. So, to answer the question that's in the title of this video, no, an idiot can't beat Black and White 2 using psychics only. I asked people if they wanted to see me finish the game without the Nuzlocke rules, so I could use revives again afterwards. Considering that I managed to get that far into the game, they said yes. As the highlights of the 8th gym in the league. I forgot to record Jetsis, so it seems. Oh wait, that's a Um, it, This thing does have Sturdy, though. It has Courage, that's Shell Smash. Does it want to use smell? Shell Smash against me is the thing. I hope you don't, Marlon. I sincerely hope you don't. Because all I'm gonna do is make love to you. Say you will, say you want me. But that doesn't matter, because we are getting healed slowly but surely. He's gonna heal his Pokémon up right away. And we're still faster than him. So this should be a golden golden go at this point. Because he's not gonna heal again, I hope not. He only has one hyper potion, I think about it. Only a crit will kill us, but that's besides the point, because we're faster than him. Now he's gonna go in with his main right away. Ominous wind. Yeah. Yeah. Because why not? We haven't had enough crits, right? That doesn't really matter anyway. He got the Omni Boost, of course he does. He doesn't get the crit, he gets the Omni Boost. That does about 50%, maybe even less now. Wow. Wow, Marlon. Jellicent, how are your stats looking? Maybe I should have done this before. Special Defense 105, Defense 70. Wow. There's nothing we can really do here, honestly. I mean, we can wait for it to die, slowly but surely. Which we, oh, we of course, are. And then at Waylord, I don't care anymore at this point. We've already lost the run. And thank you, Zalia. The, the, you're doing really great, but we failed the run already, so it's, it's not that it really matters anymore. Okay, boys. First one out of 200. We're three levels high, eh? So we can maybe tank an extra hit or something. Just gonna see how much this does. How good is he in special? Okay, okay, okay. That does 50. Uh, I'll just let Sophie go down here. Nothing much else I can do to keep Sophie alive. Uh, she also has a Goluak. Tomat and a Chandelure. I don't know what she sends what she sends out next was the problem here. Yeah, I can just go into Salia and shut all the shit out of it. Here we go. Chandelure, you came in sooner than expected. But it does not matter. I hope that I can live a hit. I don't think I can live a hit because Chandelure is fucking annoying. 
Was that a citrus berry? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a citrus berry. That does... That's what I was thinking it would do, yes. Now I'm curious, is Stami faster than this Chandelure? Because one Surf will kill it from here. Yes, it is. Okay. I don't even know Chandelure's base speed at this point. And then we still got Guluak, which is absolutely fine. Because we're stuck in choice back Surf now, and this one is par partially ground type. And it's slower than us two. He might live on a Sliver, or he won't. Because this is a stab surf coming from a choice pack Starmy. That's what I figured. You're right there. Well, how about you write your own death note? Of course, I got a wonderful skin. Thanks, Naomi. Good evening to you, by the way. And a happy belated birthday. Let's go into the video, by the way. That's a little uh, late birthday present or something. This Lipot's going for fake out. That's all I really know. And we are going for reflect right away. The fake out doesn't really do too much. Unless it's a crit, then it does kinda much. I don't care about the track too much. Unless Naomi. No, oh, okay. Nice. I'm gonna live. Okay. Unless you get a crit, which negates <laughs> Which negates the 100% uh, or the 50% that Damage, uh, physical damage increase I got. You know what? I didn't want to do this. But you're pissing me off. We don't have anything to fear because Metacross is here. And we got Crocodile. We still have the 50% boost. That does absolutely nothing. That's four times effective. That's Crocodile down. Crocodile down. Oh, no, wait. He actually lives four times? Oh no, wait, it's not Rock Dark, it's Ground Dark. That's okay. There you go. We just had a low, low damage roll. Or maybe this was a crit. Okay, that works too. We're already slower than everything on this team. So it doesn't really matter at this point. Wonder when the Reflect is gonna die down though. Okay, Scrafty, show me. Poison Jab? Really? On a Steel type? He just Brick Break my Reflect. Out of the way. Why didn't he do that sooner, though? Why did he went for a poison jab right away? A beautiful loss is still a loss, and a win is still a win. I agree. Uh, I can. This one is four times effective. I hope I can live one, though. This is neutral now, so it doesn't do anything. He avoided the attack. I think that the leftovers, if it's not a crit, if this ain't a crit, then we are good to go here. Otherwise, we might have a little problem. And that's Grimsley down just by setting up with Metagross. Metagross didn't even do anything in the first one. It's but it's pathetic to make a deal out of losing, yep. He is a gambler, he knows all about losing and winning. Whether or not you get to fight at full strength, whether or not luck smells on you, none of that matters. Only results matter, and a loss is a loss. Z or oh, Z <laughs> Victory shines like a bright light. And right now, you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. Thanks, Grimsley. Mushana can be a little annoying because the yawn, ref uh, the yawn dream eater strategy. But if we switch out continuously and get rid of its ASAP, then it won't really matter. So what I'm gonna do is just put up the light screen right away. We do have the light clay on this, so it's lasting for seven turns instead of five. She's gonna use yawn, which is a waste of my time. She keeps. I, th I think she does yawn every damn time because the AI is predicting you to switch out. Let's see if that's the case. No, it doesn't. Not this time. The AI is really weird in this case anyway. Okay. She has Reflect up, but she has to go with Light Screen, which she doesn't have on Mushana. Yeah, the only thing we can do right here is just keep switching until one of, one of them breaks through. How much does that do on Sigilip? Does it 50? It does. That's well over 50. Is that a kill? That's not a kill. It does is it's it is a special defense drop though. Okay. That's Sigleaf down. Uh, now here come the real issues in the Gotti Tail and the Reuniclus. Thankfully this time I have better things to work with against this Gotti Tail Gotti Tail, because sometimes this Gotti Tail can be a little pain in my ass. That's 60%. Nice. Does it go for Calm Mind? It goes for Shadow Ball because it sees the kill. Nicely done, Zalia. Her god details faster. Okay. 
and that was a crit. Can we get also get a crit to get revenge? Of course we can't. Or is it a speed tie? That might be the case. I hope so. No, it ain't. Uh, God, it tells actually faster. You fucked Grimsley up so bad and then you fucked this one up. Ah, you still managed to kill it. Caitlyn, you're out. Okay, Marshall, you're the last one before we go to Iris. So if you can just surrender right now, then everything will be much easier for me. This will uh, activate a Sturdy, which will also activate the Feral Storm. Then we get him back down to 1% and then we are faster afterwards. So we're good to go, because this will get him back to his 30 range and then we just kill him. Now we got Mian Chao. I guess Mian Chao is faster. No, it ain't. Nice. But will this kill? Yes, it does. Okay. That's the Elite Four now. There's no single strongest Pokemon. No, there isn't. No combination is what he was talking about. Let's see if this works. Flamethrower does about 50? That kills. Now the thing is, will Metagross be faster than Aggron in a bit? Or right now? We can try. It's not. I wasn't expecting Aggron right away, but okay. Stab Surf. Maybe this will do then. Thank you. Archops. Lapras. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck in Surf because of the choice packs. I hope I can just wakey wakey right away or anytime soon because this is just annoying. There you go. Finally hitting something. Can you live another hit? I hope you can. Oh, you wanted to put me to sleep again? No, 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 not this time. I'm out of first star range from here. Okay, I'm not. Is that what you wanted to hear? Maybe paralyze it in the meantime too. Would be nice. Thank you. Then at least I can get another hit in. Maybe another two. Because I think I'm out of KO range if it's not a critical hit. You got paralyzed too. Do we get another first star then? Meanwhile, I'm slowly but surely getting back up with the health. No? Okay, I got lucky with a couple of these things. Axtras. Oh no. I hope it I hope it sees the kill. It does see the kill, alright? Yes it does, okay. I don't have anything to kill this Axtras, is the real issue. I mean I don't have an ice beam or anything on I'm going to stab psychic. To at least get rid of the the thing is, now it's faster than most of what I can throw at it. So, is the problem here that I need to put a Focus Sash on something? Just like she does with Hextras? There is a chance, there is a slight chance, but the last two are Jodigan and Archops. Because I think this is a dead end too. Mm, there is a chance, there is a slight chance, but the last two are Jodigan and Archops. So I need to take a reflect here. Oh, Rasmov, it's all up to you. But judging from what I've seen, there's nothing you can really do. If you do hit KO this one, you should be okay. You're not okay. You're gonna be fucked, homie. Unless this is a high roll. It's, it's a high roll. Okay. Okay. Whew. I, are we gonna pull through? You're kidding me, right? Defeatus? Yes, Defeatus. Okay, it's in Defeatus red zone. It doesn't do any damage anymore right now. Because its attack is halved. And we still got Reflect up. There you go. See, it doesn't do anything anymore. Rasimov pulling in the last... The last Mel that we actually needed to win the game. Well, win the game. We defeated... We, we, we didn't beat the Nuzlocke, but we defeated it with Psychic types. So at least there's something. It's rather unfortunate to get fucked, but for my first Hardcore Nuzlocke, I did manage to get very far, even though there were a lot of deaths that could have been prevented, others I just couldn't. I learned a lot from this playthrough, 
but I also knew it wasn't over just yet. We still had one challenge to go through, and it seemed to be haunting our house in Undella Town. I'm Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer just like you know you're just, you're not some random Pokemon trainer. You're not. Don't lie to me, woman. Would you got to be my opponent? No, not yet. You prefer to take things slowly and rationally, am I right? <sighs> the final boss. Cynthia. We gotta watch out though, because this thing knows uh, hypnosis, double team and dream meter, which is a an really annoying combination. See how much earth power does. Now, if only the next one hits, which probably isn't going to be the case, because one double team always fucks me up. See what I mean? Do we get another 50% or do we get a lower roll? No? Okay. Then we got my low tick. Uh, let's just use another earth power. Don't think uh, Razmov's going to live anything. Because we're talking about my low tick. Throwing out a Hydro Pump, but Rasmoth is pulling through. That might be the level gap. Pouring in. This will do like 40 damage or something, 40% damage. Yeah. You did really well. Don't sweat it, Rasmoth. She also has a track, so I'm going into Sophie right away. That's full star range. Which is okay. I don't know how much full star she got, though. Now, let's see how much it does. My Lodic is actually quite a fast Pokemon. I don't remember it being this fast. I mean, sure, my Pokemon are quite slow when it comes to it. Of course. Choice Scarf Thunderbolts. Or Choice Specs Thunderbolts. I don't know, I keep mixing them up. Will that do 50%? Yes, it does. Nice, okay, that... that it actually made her suicidal. And we also have the special defense boost from Light Screen for the couple next four or five turns. So if she puts in Togekiss, we're good to go. She puts in Glaceon. Uh, first I'll check how much this does. I've not... That, maybe it will do 50? No, but we do get the paral Paralysis. Glaceon or Shadow Ball? That's quite interesting. That's actually really interesting. And I think if we uh, get out of first or range here, we don't. Oh, she does have only one. She probably has one Fellow Store only then. A Willy Earthquake is my real issue. I think he does. He's not going to use Fire Blast. Dragon Rush, maybe. Nice. Uh, he's going to go with Stone Edge. Yes, he does. And the thing is, will this kill? It doesn't. So we can get a free reflect off. Now maybe... No. Cynthia's known for never missing a single hit. Uh, she does has... She still has her Lucario left and she also has her Togekiss left. And I'm gonna Psychic on this one. Which is boosted by the Psychic Gem. Which I completely forgot I had on this. Earthquake will not kill because we still have the 50% damage boost. That does absolutely nothing. We also got a decent defense to look after. Is that enough to kill? It is, okay. Then we also got a Lucario, which has extreme speed, so it has priority. Lucario might actually turn it tight for us. So what I'm gonna do here... Is just Psychic this. Try to get some more damage off. Okay. And that's it. She's down. My heart is pounding so hard. <laughs> pounding heart. She's getting a heart pounding So if I were to brought in the question like Can you beat Pokemon black and white with psychic types only? Yes, you can It is entirely possible It's just that when I do these challenges Weird things are bound to happen It is my fate to be an idiot No, it is not my fate It's my destiny I will strive to become world's best idiot in Pokemon And there's no one that can stop me from doing that Except for people who steal my challenges and do a better job at it than me Either way once I have become world's renowned idiot, I will finally be able to run for Emperor of the World and conquer the galaxy. Then I will set up a war and play both sides of that war, causing massive 
death numbers and enjoying it from my own private planet, which I would make to destroy other planets. But in order to be a little bit vulnerable, I'll make an opening that goes directly to the core of the planet, so a man that can walk in the sky can explode it someday. I hope that doesn't become an actual movie or something. It seems like a good plot that it can have many fans.